Hey, hello friends and welcome. So, I'm gonna show you how you can flash uh, Android 14 in your Motorola uh, device. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's the beta one and it's uh, great. Uh, if you break your device, um, do not come to me and cry. Okay. So, carefully, what are you typing? and what are you flashing because i've broke my device a couple of times and then yeah i had to fix it hard bricks are really not um fun they are really bad because uh, you need them on motorola ants in order to go into uh, ideal mode it's very stupid so you cannot go with the buttons you need to uh create a cable like me Okay, now then you need to uh, create test points with the wires and then connect your device to the USB and then uh, flash the blank flash from Lollinet for your device. Okay, so um, I might do a um, tutorial about that thing as well. Hopefully, you don't break your device. If yes, uh, do not panic um, because you can fix it. Only, yeah, if you break physically, then you are out of the game. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, you need fast boot drivers, okay? So you can grab them from this one or you can grab them from Google. <laughs> I'm using those one here from Google because um, um, of Android development. Uh, anyway, uh, just grab the fast boot drivers, but for most of you, it will be very convenient if you are going and grab here uh, the drivers so you can see here download version this one or to the latest version uh, just go into this xd uh, post basically and download them yeah okay save on your computer somewhere uh, yeah like me and then just extract them okay and to uh, open them and then here you have your fastboot drivers okay so basically now since you are having those here and you are going to do locally stuff probably you would like to open here the commando prompt or powershell or terminal or whatever you are using if you are in linux or mac so basically you need here then to navigate to tell your uh terminal that it should point here in order to get access to those on my end, I'm putting those like into a global variable in order to uh, to get access from everywhere on my computer. But this that's out of uh, the scope for this video. Okay, so you are going uh, to open that CMD command. So if you are typing here, for example, CMD, it will open directly here. In this case, you are seeing this kind of view. It's the command prompt, but because I'm using terminal, uh, it's like you can open here multiple ones, huh? Uh, or you can right click like me and then click open terminal and then it will point or you have a lot of commands how huh? you can point to this directory okay um or folder uh, great so i recommend you uh, to use powershell uh, 7 uh, it's very convenient and it's far better than uh, most of what windows is giving you why because you don't need to use like uh, uh, you know uh, dot and then slash and then the command you know that's thing it's very stupid um yeah it's like that how it's working um after that you just need to grab now your rom uh, file huh? and then uh extract it somewhere on your computer um like me here so you have this star file probably uh, you should open it via 7zip or winrar or whatever you should search on that and then just open and then <clears throat> And basically now you need um, to uh, flash those files into your uh, phone. In order to get this working, uh, probably you are going to wipe out your data. So make sure you create a backup from them. And then make sure you are on the latest. Uh, you can be on Android 12 or 13. But keep in mind to be on stock ROM. Uh, because somehow uh, myself, I didn't have an option to go into fastboot D. I'm going to show you what's that. So, yeah, be prepared for those things. <laughs> After you have those things, I'm going to show you now how I'm using. So I'm just open now a terminal. Okay. And what I'm doing most of the time, because I'm using fastboot globally, 
um, I can basically open it directly here and then I can use fastboot directly into the ROM directory. But probably you're going to have issues and probably uh, you are going to have issues while flashing. So best is you can grab your fastboot drivers. This is not recommended, but it's an idea in order to go easy, easy, squeezy. Um, and then or extract your ROM inside here or copy those from here into your ROM folder, okay? So one of those, and then you just open the fastboot into that directory, and then you can basically flash those files, okay? So make sure you have those things, and then just reboot your device, huh? and then hold down the volume down button and the power button on your device, and then it should go into fastboot, okay? Uh, when it's in fastboot, <coughs> waiting, You should see something like this. Sorry for the blurry. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So you should see something like this. Okay. So after you do that, make sure you plug in your device uh, with a USB Type C cable. For flashing, it's fine. USB 3 ports, no problems. For the um, ideal mode, that's another story. Okay. So after you plug in, uh, make sure now you. Open your uh, terminal into your directory where is your fastboot. In my case, I can open it everywhere. And then just type fastboot devices. If you see your serial number into the fastboot devices, you are fine. Okay. If not, you need to install the drivers from Google, how I've told you, and the Motorola drivers. Okay. Make sure you have the drivers installed. Type fastboot devices. If you see your fastboot device connected, you are fine. Now, after you do all of this, uh, Happy thing. What you need to do is now you need to write fastboot reboot fastboot. So why this is a stupid way of going now into a newer version of fastboot. So that's fastboot D. So like a better version. Why we are going there? Because here we have like big files. As you can see, like three gig, one uh, close to four. Uh, this product. And basically, this means that with the old fastboot, we cannot flash this big file uh, for some reason of dynamic partition. You can go and read online if you want to know more. Uh, but yeah, you cannot do that. So in order to go there, you should type that and then you will be in something like this. So in another fastboot, okay? Now, after you are there, you can confirm that you are basically still in fastboot, but the better version, the newer version. and now. What you need to do is, uh, I was flashing some of them, like a couple of files, like boot, DTBO, FSG, modem, product, vendor, system, system, uh, EXT, and so on. But I've decided to flash all of them, okay? So now, you need to write them one by one, <laughs> okay? So fast boot, flash, ABL, ABL, dot IMG. So you see? Fastboot flash ABL, you are telling that you want to flash the ABL, space, then the path to the ABL. So because we are now um, uh, into, the ter into the directory, so right now we are not there. So if I'm clicking now enter, it will break, nothing will happen. Because I'm telling to my terminal to flash this file where my terminal is pointing to the desktop. It's not pointing here, basically it's pointing to my user profile. So if you are going to hit enter, you see it cannot load, it cannot find this device, uh, this file, sorry. So make sure you are opening and pointing your terminal to the ROM folder that you have extracted. So like this. So that's what I've told you, you should grab your fastboot uh, files, paste them here or vice versa, and then open the CMD inside here or terminal or PowerShell 7. I'm going to tell you why PowerShell 7 in a second. And then now if we are going to do the same thing, huh? like this, now it will flash. Why? Because we are pointing to this directory. So we are saying flash ABL, and this is the ABL IMG. If you are not into this directory, then you need to tell, so you need to do something fast, boot, flash IABL. And now instead of writing this short form, you need to grab and paste the whole path to that thing and then it will still work but in order to do this stupid thing it's much cleaner to do that thing there my opinion okay so in commando prompt 
uh, you need to copy and then right click on your mouse it will still paste but yeah it's not convenient you see with powershell 7 it's much easier now another thing with power um shell 7 is that you can write down your commands or i can share those that i've written see and then you just can copy all of those so we are actually now in fastboot uh, d so i'm gonna copy from here okay and then you can open it here and just right click and then you can paste all of those beautiful things and then you don't need to write anything it will automatically flash everything for you and then you just chill enjoy and some eat some chips or whatever you have boost get off and then the flashing will continue so because we are in fastboot d you see it's parsing itself the file the big file into chunks and it, it's uh, flashing uh, to your device else we needed to uh, to download the sparse converter and then sparse them manually the files and then still sometimes some files will not work so i experienced that thing so this thing is much doper and um, one guy of telegram just pointed me out about fastboot d i have totally forgotten so credit to him and um, i was flashing android 14 and it's but our version and it's fine one problem that i'm having is with the bluetooth i really hate they have like lowered the volume maximum i am on a soundcore liberty 3 they are really great about sharing uh, stuff music or whatever podcast or whatever but on Android 13 stable version, but the global one or the EU one, the sound quality was dope. Dope. On the Chinese variant, when I was flashing the Chinese version, it was very low. Same problem like on Android 14 beta. And same problem on all custom ROMs that I've tried. On Lineage OS, uh, correctly, yeah. On Rising, on Elixir. On Alexi, it was, I think, loud. I forgot. I needed to try, but I think their site is down. Anyway, so that's the problem there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now flash the vendor and the Bluetooth file from Android 13 to my Android 14 system and just try to see if that's going to work. Maybe I'm gonna break my device, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm gonna try and then I'm gonna tell you if that was working. So as you can see, uh, this is flashing now the system, and basically you just wait. You don't need to type anything. So that for PowerShell seven, and this is how you can basically flash Android for the. Hopefully it's clear to you. And uh, yeah, that's all. So then when the next beta version comes, someone is going to grab it and share it with us, and then we're just gonna flash it again like this. And uh, we are going to have the new one so yeah let's wait till this is finishing it has a little bit so you see starting the phone and then you can try alone okay ignore those errors still has flashing correctly that's probably the terminal or my i need to update the the styling here i've forgotten what was the name uh, uh, something oh, oh shell i don't know something like that i forgot sorry so yeah this is the last file Hit enter. Okay. We are done. Uh, fast boot, reboot, and now we are rebooting to the system. So we have successfully flashed Android 14 on the device, then start. Um, come on, here. Yeah, yeah. Nvidia is powerful with blurry. Look. And then it will start the system. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's not talking because I've like 
flash it on actually Android 14 and I have on vibrate. So hello Moto, it's not working yet. But as you can see, successfully flash it and it booted and then you can use Android uh, 14. Yeah, the first crash, enable crashes into developer options. Okay, developer mode and on air dialogue so you see what is crashing on your end because that's by default disabled and then you think that's nothing is crashing but as you can see first crash is personalized has stopped okay so keep in mind if you want to track crashes that's all my friends till the next time